Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a failure of the next part of the slider that I'm making. Here is the slider that we've seen previously. And here is the next part that was supposed to be the next part of the slider. This is a motion control stage. It has a bearing and it has a motor and you would then have a, another stage here that could turn like so. But I found a critical flaw in this, which is why it will not be used. The bearing is a 3D bear printed pair bearing. It has cylinders inside it and it has uh, two, uh, there's a bottom plate and a top plate. And it functions pretty well. The problem is the noise. And Inside the bearing, we have these. And they're essentially the same size, regardless of, the, of which way we look at them. And these are sandwiched between two layers, so that they are essentially like this. And every other one is like this which then makes them essentially kind of like balls, but not quite, which will result in problems later. And we then have this part here is essentially made like this. We've made it a, a taller top uh, part for the bearings with a timing belt thing. And that just sits on top there. We then have a, a belt that goes around and is attached to the motor and to the, the gear. Driving this entire thing is this CNC shield, which is just an Arduino with a single stepper motor driver. I can have four of the drivers here, which means that I can then do left, right, up, down and go on the slider and then I could possibly in the future do the focusing of the lens too. But that will be on a later time. Now onto the problem itself. The problem is that even with this normal one, this, this separated one, even if I just spin this with my fingers, we can hear that it makes a lot of noise. Now if we then go ahead and open up a controller program so that we can actually control the stepper motors. So we'll open up connection and we'll go with the default feed rate, which is 10. And we'll use this and we'll get horrible noise. If we use a feed rate of 100 and we then do the same thing, it's less apparent, but it's still annoying. And this is essentially unusable. Like it, the bearing works, but it makes way too much noise and way too much vibration for it to be used in a camera slider application, which is why I essentially have to abandon this particular one. The faster and longer it goes, the, the better it works. But even if we set the settings to a bigger thing, it's just going to be awful. Like, the, this is awful. Like, it works technically, but I'm going to have to buy some bearings and then I'm going to have to wait for a month for them to arrive. So this is not the way to do it, clearly. But yeah, this has been an update on the progress on my camera slider project. And this is a big failure, which will set me back a bit. Then again, there are also other failures, like when we, we can see here that the holes are like nicely, like here and here and here and here. And then that's, that's, that's not nicely. So I also need to, I need to remake this plate anyway. And once I get the, the new bearings, I can then, then probably make this one, the, this particular hole, so that it's, it's the right size. So I essentially have to redo this entire thing. 
Well, that's what happens when you do electronics projects. And this is why you don't use 3D printed bearings for most things. At least ones that require you to not have vibrations or sound issues. I hope you learned something. And if you liked what you saw, then, you know, there's buttons there. If you didn't, then, you know, you can hit the other one. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.